Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect. And today we are going to be uh, working with a few things. Okay, so I went ahead and made a diamond hammer later on uh, or earlier just so um, I could get through some of the stone that I, or some of the stone I was working with. So I went ahead and had made two autonomous activators and also went ahead and got me or went through some more cobblestone. But today we're going to work on a few things. All right, so um, we already did the Tinker's Constructs Meltery or Processing, so we got that done. Um, I want to get this done. I want to make a field of grass um, 25 blocks away from your base for spawning animals. And it says build a second layer to your island below the level. We've done that, but we've actually got that done. Upgrade a tool uh, with a metal part. We don't have that. And then upgrade your mob farm to kill monsters automatically. I really do want to get that started. Um, farming age, we have not made a watering can yet. We really need to do that. Um, we've prepared a farming space for that. We've crafted a, um, a Mementio seed. Yes, we've done that. Make a matlock from Tinker's Construct. We have not done that yet. All the matlock is, is a tool that lets you dig dirt and it also um, lets you hoe an area. Alright. It also lets you turn dirt into a water bucket. Or a spot for water to go, which is pretty good. Um, it's only half a block high, so you won't fall in. Uh, start a food farm. We've done that. We've got a little food farm and a Mencio farm. Um, not done this or this or this. Okay. So we're getting there. Um, I really want to work on getting a mob farm. And um, we can go ahead and get obsidian. We're going to need that possibly for the mob farm. So let's see how we're going to automate this. So with this mob farm over here. We could. A cheap way. Is to get some um, spikes. So there's different types of spikes. There's an iron spike. I think a wooden spike takes them to half a heart. It's not what we want. We want an iron spike. Now that we have a lot of iron, I can actually uh, we can we can get a few things going. Okay, so hmm. that's pretty easy to make. Some iron sores and iron block takes a lot of iron. We need we'll need two of these. Let's also check out fans right here from open blocks I think these just require a redstone signal so if we use a fan we can automate this over here this is a simple way to do this the fan from open blocks more iron and we're gonna need some cobblestone let's go ahead and get some cobblestone all right so we're gonna take the cobblestone put it in here just like so. Then we need to uh, get some iron, which we have our iron stored away in here. I don't know how much we're going to need. I know we're going to need two iron blocks. Let's go ahead and get the two iron blocks. We're going to need two spikes because our mob farm's too wide. Alright. So. Oh, it actually it automatically drew them out of there. Okay. So two, this we're going to need iron bars, so we're going to go ahead and make that. What it's doing is taking all of this out of our inventory here. I don't want it to do. We're going to need a few iron swords. Let's get some wood. Probably enough. Actually, I probably have some sticks in here. Yeah, no, I don't. Okay. I think it was six. So it was, it'll be, we'll need six swords. We're gonna have to clear out some inventory space for this. Let me go over here. Okay. 
Let's see, what else do we not need? All this ore we can dump, dump right into here. Let me throw the lead into here, I think. Get that to work it. Go ahead and throw this. So, done that. Let's get our swords. One, two, four, five, six. That is a lot of iron. Alright, let's see if we can go ahead and make that. We need, we need four. Four of those. And let's see about the spikes. Two iron spikes. We have enough to make it. Okay, we're missing something. Okay, I think I think we have everything to do this. Just gonna need more of this. Two iron blocks, and then swords. Oh, that gives us four. We probably use them eventually, so I'm just gonna go ahead and they have the swords. Go ahead and use them. Do these stack? Yes, they stack. Okay. So now that we have all of that done, we're gonna work on getting this together. So we're going to need a few torches just so the mobs are gone. Let's get out our iron sword. We're going to have to kill everything. Also we're going to need hoppers. I think I'm going to use hoppers. Hmm. Yeah, I think hoppers is going to be the best solution for this. Um, can we not? Is there not an automated... the hopper. Is there any more? The Natura hopper. Hmm. Yeah, this hopper is, is probably going to be our best bet for right now. I don't think there's an Ender IO thing. So, I think what I'm going to do is put hoppers on the sides. So, I'm going to have two hoppers. It's probably the best thing to do. Okay, let's get some hoppers made. I'm going to need four hoppers. Actually, more than four. Okay. So, we're going to need chest. Iron around it. That's one hopper. more. Perfect. Um, if four isn't working, we'll definitely try something different. So, man, this is a mess. I'm going to need to try and get a torch in here so we don't spawn more. Alright, let's start killing these bad boys. Gotta watch out for them creepers. See, I'm gonna do this. This will definitely get some of that Mementio that's dropping automated, which we, we're gonna need for our next uh, farming age. Um, and also these bag of looting give us a lot of really nice things that's gonna help us out. Especially ender pearls and things like that. I really have to watch out for these creepers. Alright, so I got these couple in the back. Alright, so I got them all killed up. 
and they are gone. And let's check out these nice bag, uncommon bags that we got. All right, so, ooh, we got nether wart seeds. That is awesome. That is perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here. Get rid of some of that loot that we got. Um, yeah, that'll go there. Let's check out this bag. We got an uncommon treasure, some redstone, and an iron bucket. Okay, this we can check and see what we got out of it. Oh, sweet! So we got a diamond, we got a potion, we got um, a ring of Perdito, which is not useful right now. None of this is useful except for the diamond. But we're gonna throw that in here and take our raw flesh. Throw that up there. We'll take this which is all now jerky and that diamond will definitely keep in our inventory all right so let's let, let me go th think about how I'm gonna design this so right now I put the spikes here the mobs will be pushed into this and then right here since this will be the little spawning platform of three by three when they walk over this being pushed by the fan, they'll hit these the hoppers. If I put a piece of carpet above the hoppers, hmm, how do I get wool? Okay, I can get wool from. Okay, I know how I'm gonna get wool. We get string. Okay, so let me just make sure that nothing's gonna spawn under here. Go ahead and break through this and place our hoppers. And I think I'm gonna have a hopper going into a hopper. And then they'll go into these chests. Since they're already set up right here. I guess we'll use them. Okay, so we shift click onto it, it should hook each other. Just like that. Now we have those set up. That is looking really good. Now we're gonna need our fans. I might extend this just a little bit. We get our fans wherever they went, right here. Almost forgot we also need some redstone signaling. So, I don't have any cobblestone on me. All right, so I got some cobblestone. this place the wrong way Ooh. I'm gonna have to get inside I guess will probably hurt me yeah see they'll, they'll be automatically pushed into this which is perfect if this works I'll be happy so happy okay it's just a slow process right now this is the boring stuff but I want to sh make sure you guys know how to do this kind of straight. This one's kind of turned. Yep, they're turned ever so slightly, but I guess it don't that matter that much. Can I put it right here? Yes, I can. Good, because I wanted these on the inside, just so I don't have to bother with them. Alright, so they're both 
locked and loaded and ready to go. I'll just make sure to get this, these two turned on if I can. Perfect. Nice, so we should get mob spawning. We still get actually blown from right here, which is crazy. Okay, well these fans are definitely doing their job. And let me actually hit F7 and see. Okay, so does the yellow mean it will spawn during the day? I'm not sure. I think we need the carpet because I think red is going to spawn all day long. That is only nighttime. I've just seen that this area right here needs some torches. I don't think I left any torches down there. Alright, so let's see if we can make some carpet. I think carpet will help. Um, we have string over here. And I think this makes wool. Yeah. Perfect. And I think it's wool we'll make carpet. We actually need four. So. I think if I set the carpet, it'll make it feel like a full block. Alright, let me get in here. Ooh. Awesome. Now let's check it again. Man, it's, that's not exactly working. I wonder if I block this all off. If I use half slabs, it will definitely work. Get some half slabs in there. I'm really wanting this to be closed off. You can't access our chest when it's like that. It's almost like the fans are emitting light. actually get inside to be able to see. Ooh, that's dangerous. It's actually pushing me. So, man, it's still being like that. I wonder why. Did I remove these? Is it the spikes that may be causing? Okay, so we can't. We have to use... Hmm. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so I think I found out what the problem is. Um, it's my hoppers are actually letting light in. I'm pretty sure that's what it's coming from. After a long, long time of working on this, I finally figured out issue. 
Um, and now I'm having a problem with these just getting kind of stuck here. But I went ahead and just changed this up to make it look kind of nice. And I also built a little thing over here uh, during the break time to uh, house our plants and stuff. I already had the pillars set up. I kind of knew what I wanted to build. Um, so I built this. Um, looks kind of nice. I thought it looked kind of nice. Um, just a little farmhouse. And then I have this working. So I expanded this back one more to give it more space for mobs still blowing me around. Um, as you can see, we already got two bags of loot on this side, and we got a bag of loot over here. Awesome. So we can go ahead and check those out. Uh, there ain't nothing in this one. Throw this stuff in there. There is, ooh, a chance cube. I did not know that that was in here. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Right, and there's just the bag, which that's garbage. So we can go in the trash. Oh, I actually need the amber. It's okay. I'll throw this away. Well, I think. I forgot what that's out. And as you can see, there's some bags of loot in there. I've not found out a perfect way of getting into there to get those. So for right now, I'm just not going to worry about them. But everything should start spilling into these chests, both of them. Of course, whenever we're not, not around, when we're away from it. We have cake. How nice is that that we have some cake? We set right there. Perfect. Um, uh, conduit probe. This I'm kind of scared to do. Let's actually make a platform. Um, or I might just hold on to that. We might, we'll do an episode where I open this, open these chance cubes. Because I don't want to open that cube right now. Okay, so we have something spawning. Don't know how he got out of it. Out of it. Alright. Brooklyn, whatever your name is. Something spawning. Oh, he spawned right here. So, mm, little spawn right there. Not if we put some torches. Yeah, we put some torches right here. Nothing to worry about. This is just a viewing area, so you can see what's going on. It just looks like everything's getting stuck there, which isn't exactly odd of me. Oh wow, it actually let me pick them up. Ooh, we have cotton seeds. All right, we have another thing of cake. How awesome is that? I'll go put that cake back over here. All right, quick thing. I just wanted to show you guys so you didn't think that I just spawned one in. Um, I just opened this bag, one of these bags, and I got a division sigil and a common loot bag. Um, so while I did that, might as well go through the rest. Um, I got one of those. Oh no. Go ahead and go through the rest of them. Ooh, I got a little bit of silicone and some paper. Got another one of those. Awesome. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys that and um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. So this is the good part about this is these bags will now drop more consistently. Uh, I didn't place it where I wanted to place it. But anyways. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and conclude this episode here. If you guys uh, like this uh, video and you found it pretty helpful, uh, definitely with making an automated mob grinder. Um, I know we got to it to at the end, but uh, if you enjoyed that, go, please, please, please click that subscribe button and also give this video a big thumbs up and like. We already have an Enderman going on in there. That is awesome. Two Endermen. Oh man, I really hope there's Ender Pearls in here. Let's just check this real quick. Oh, we already have two Ender Pearls. How awesome is that? Those Ender Pearls will definitely come in handy in the next episode. Um, but if you guys enjoyed it, please click that subscribe button, like I said just a second ago. And as always, thanks for watching.